wouldn't blame you for having second thoughts. <sighs> I'm not. But if we're gonna have any sort of future together, we've got to try and forget this. Forgetting's one thing. Forgiving's another. Oh, I don't know, John. People who live in glass houses. I've done some pretty stupid things in my time. <laughs> but nothing like this. As whoppers go, it takes some beating. I'm sorry for doing this to you. It was so unnecessary. We were really good together. Or I thought we were. We were really good together. How ridiculous. What's to do? My library book. It was definitely on here last night. I was hurrying to finish it. It's due back today. I hope the dark force is out at work again. Oh, you don't believe that, Mr Sugden. No, but there's somewhat unnatural going on. I know. Oh. On the hall table. I remember now. I put it there so I wouldn't forget. I am sorry. You don't have to be. We're all nervous, Rex. <laughs> How do you fancy going for a career tonight? Les, I said, what about me and you going out for a bolte? Uh, yeah, go on then, if you're paying. Do you know them two next door? Which next door? The old ones. A right miserable pair. But I dare say they've not long to go before they kick in daisies. <laughs> well, if you're hoping to be remembered in their will, I'd not hold your breath. But I think it's getting to them. All this spooky stuff. It's getting to me. Never mind them. Maybe we should stop winding them up. What's all this we? Should be talking to them two upstairs. <laughs> yeah, but I pulled a stroke or two and all. Truth is, love. What the hell is this doing here? Oh, flaming Nora. It's not that ivy again, is it? Give over. I fetched it down. I'm looking for stuff for the car boot sale. You're not selling Elvis. Why not? It might be worth a bob or two. They can be worth hundreds, them. I've read about it in a newspaper. They have these auctions, flogging out but teddies. That's special ones that they didn't make many of, you daft git. He was made in Taiwan. There's millions of him. Well, what do you want to keep it for, then? Because I've had him since I was a kid. Yeah, well, you're not a kid anymore. Another year or two, you'll be ready for the granny steaks. You've already got the figure for it, so give it here. I will flame him not. And I'll tell you something now for now, Leslie Battersby. I'd get rid of you before I'd get rid of Elvis. Charming! Diana, thank Cheers, you. Cheers, Rita. You know, seems funny coming in here now. No Mavis behind there, wittering away. I she could witter for England, could Mavis. <laughs> but I have to say, I do miss her. And not just the extra pair of hands. Mm. Make you laugh, this. <laughs> me and all. Both of them stood there, popping the little heads over my fence. Tut tutting about me a thriving weed cropper about me love life. You name it, they tutted. Well, I miss it. Damn it, I even miss the flaming budgie squeaking and all. <laughs> I told you it'd make you laugh. Here we are. The mallet girls hey to up. save the day. Oh, I'm sorry oh. I'm late, Rita. Only she started playing up. Never and... mind you're here now. <sighs> Let's have a look. <laughs> ah, she's a little doll. <laughs> right, do you want to park her in the back? I'll do that. If you want to give Judy your orders for the day. Judy's up in retro since shop. Right. How are you? I'm all right, mate, yeah. Pretty good. I bet, yeah. Copping for second dishiest girl on street. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, princess. The third. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rita. The fourth. Oh, he never does that, does he? Still, he'll be gone soon. He only came to give me a lift with her stuff. Oh. Right, where do you want me to start? Oh, Gary, see to her before you go, won't you? There's a love. She probably wants Wyndham again. She's no trouble at all, really. Do you want a lift? Ah, no thanks, I'll walk. You're scared of being seen with me, huh? Too many awkward questions. Sorry. Oh, it's ironic, really. As a kid, I was the original little George Washington. Father, I cannot tell a lie. It was I. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to tell one more before we're clear. We can't carry on with this farce. We'll have to say that you failed your last medical, left the airline and got a new job. Oh, it's near enough what happened anyway. Yeah, except that it happened over a year ago and not last week. It'll be a huge weight off my mind, not having to keep up the whole stupid pretense. There is one more problem. Ken. 
I told him it was all over between us. He's had his ups and downs, he'll understand. It won't be easy persuading Ken to go along with why you're suddenly no longer a pilot. It's <laughs> no skin off his nose, why wouldn't he? Because whatever his faults, Ken is basically an honest man. John, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean... No, oh, it's all right, darling. I deserve that. What I don't deserve is a second chance from a fabulous woman. And I'm not going to blow it. I promise you. Oh, Paul, mine's got a baggy round the bum. That's because you got a baggy bum. I'll lend you my pink top. Only because it made you itch. You're a selfish cow, you. Do you know that? Oh, Are you going to stop him from well, rowing for two minutes? Oh, oh stupid question. Sitting on your backside, you good at. Sucking ale, you good at. Getting me to fork out for your flaming curries, you good at. But I tells you're a waste of space. You for some, eh? Right, we'll see about that. All right, then, if that's the way you want it. Oh, late again, I see. At least you're consistent. Only a couple of minutes, Mr Baldwin. More like 20, I'd say. Did you hear that? Docker wages. Oh. I'm going to Warsaw tonight. Right. So that's why he wanted to borrow me like from Minnie. Keep your lousy Minnie. I'll knock his eyes out whatever I wear. OK, see ya. Right, well, the bad news is, looks like the Dutch orders are one off. The original suppliers are back in the frame. Is this definite? No, but it doesn't look good. All good news. George Dixon phoned last night. He wants to see our entire range. He's up here for a couple of days. He's having an appointment for uh, four o'clock. That's brilliant. I'm coming with you. Oh, no, you're not. Now, look because here, you're man. you're going by yourself. Don't you want to be there? Nah. I wouldn't have asked you to go if I thought you couldn't handle it. He's in the Major League, that bloke. Even though he's a bit of a creep. Mike, I've handled world-class creeps in my time. After all, I work with you every day. <laughs> Morning. Morning. You okay? Well, I am. But the slightest thing seems to get poor Mr. Sugden jittery. I mean, he claims not to believe in the supernatural, but it wouldn't surprise me if he doesn't start hanging knobs of garlic over the door. Well, like I said, it's some clown's sick idea of a joke. Has anything else happened? No, thank goodness. I mean, neither. So hopefully it's all stopped now. Anyway. Yeah. Ah! What is it? Don't go in there! It's all right. It's all right. That somebody's had a go at your pillow. I doubt it's ghosts. Apparitions don't usually carry scissors. Well, who could have done it then? Well, your two girls spring to mind. No, they wouldn't do that. Besides, I'd skin them. Pillars cost. They've been out all morning anyway, and so has their Les. Oh, look at it. It's like some out of an horror film. Oh, well, shall I speak to the vicar and ask if he's got any suggestions? I think we should hang on a bit, Emily, before we get into exorcisms, don't you? Can I have a word? Uh, well, I'm a bit busy at the moment. Please, Ken, it's important. Um... Right, okay. Yeah, well, come on. I'm sorry. What am I supposed to do? I'm not going in there on my own. I'm going to put the kettle on, make you a nice cup of tea. Oh, let me guess. He's uh, pestering you to take him back. No. Oh, that's something to be grateful for. But we are together. My suggestion, not his. You've taken him back? After what he's done? Well, he couldn't handle losing his job, Ken. You, of all people, should understand that. But Deirdre, when I got the push, I didn't go around saying I was headmaster of Manchester Grammar. Deirdre, the man's a fake. And if you want to think you can build a life on that, then you must be out of your mind. <laughs> You've done things that I thought were stupid, but I didn't interfere. Well, maybe you should have. Look, I still worry about you. I can't help it. Ingrained habit. Well, there's no need. What John did was wrong, but it doesn't stop me loving him. And I know we can be happy together. He's given me back so many things that I thought I'd lost forever when Samia died. That's not something you chuck away lightly. So, what did you want of me, if it's not my opinion? Well, John knows that he's going to have to tell people he's not a pilot. 
So we've decided to say that he failed his last medical, couldn't face being ground staff and got another job, which is more or less the truth. Yeah, well, rather less than more. I mean, he'd been carrying on this charade ever since you met him. Of how long before that? Look, are you going to back us up? That's all I want to know. You mean you want me to collude in the lies? No, just don't say anything. Lying by omission. <gasps> words! It's always words with you, isn't it, Ken? We're talking about feelings here. Me having a crack at happiness again. Look, Deirdre, love, I'm not being malicious. I take no pleasure in this. I truly wish that your John had been everything you thought he was, but he's not. So I don't see how you can live happily ever after. And I would be lying if I said different. So you won't support us? Well, I, I can't even if I want to. It's too late, I've already told Emily. I'm sorry. No, you're not. You never liked John, and you were jealous of everything you thought he stood for. Well, tough. We'll make a life together, with or without your help. Oh, hi, love. Hi, Mum. No. Um, I just wanted to check. Is Sarah Louise still on this vegetarian kick? Yeah, well, it'll be a new fad next week. Whatever's in with a mate. <laughs> oh, and expect her to be grumpy. She wanted to come with us. She thinks she's missing something. Oh, come on. He wasn't even a blood relative. To the kids, he was Grandpa Don. They only remember the good bits. Well, they must have blooming good memories. <laughs> hey, now. What on earth are them two going to talk about? Oh, something she's got into her head about ghosts. Oh, well, she's gone to the right person. I mean, Spook is his middle name, isn't her? <laughs> oh, hi! Anna. I've said you might be here, isn't it? It's my day off. Uh, do you fancy a bit of lunch? Yes! <laughs> now, as long as I'm back in time to uh, pick the kids up while Gail's making sure that madman is safely six foot under. Have you never heard of Don't Speak Ill of the Dead? In his case, it'll be difficult to speak well. They don't speak at all, which I admit is a stretch for you. Oh, she's in a right mood today, she is. Well, she is going to a funeral. Mind you, you know, I can't help feeling sorry for him in spite of everything. I mean, he didn't have much of a life, did he? Not after he married Ivy, no. Gosh, that was a match made in hell. Mm. She was my mother-in-law. Yes, and she was a bitter, twisted woman, Gail, who poisoned everything around her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I cannot be hypocritical, me. Hey, Roy, now, if she's winding you up, take the notice. I'm not. Uh, cheap. No, there, there certainly seem to have been some unusual goings-on at the Battersby's and adjoining properties, but uh, whether they're paranormal in origin is something I'd like to keep an open mind on. I'll call round later. Can you merely start it? Uh, I shall give it my best endeavours. What she's having you on, Roy, don't you fall for it? Ooh, wouldn't surprise me if both the Brennan's evil spirits weren't hanging around number five. Ooh! Do you know, I wouldn't live in that house if you gave me a platinum credit card. <laughs> I'm running through the mints the next time I see him. Well, just make sure you do. I will. Bye. Was it all right to say that? <laughs> you handled her beautifully. Lily's one of our regular mourners. Maybe she was to retreat him back when she walked in. Oh, you then had to deal with all sorts in a pub. You must miss the Rovers. Katie's worth it. So what are your plans? Will you be adopting? Well, I suppose I'll have to. Gary can't. You can't adopt your own daughter. Oh, I see. So you had heard the rumours then? Well, you can't really avoid them in here. I try and keep an open mind until I know the facts of the matter. Well, it's quite simple. We were going through a bad patch. It would have won off. These things happen. Doesn't usually end with the wrong wife bringing up the baby. Yeah, well, it wasn't Gary's idea. It was mine. You see, I can't have kids. So when we found out about Zoe, it just seemed like fate. And she was quite happy with this arrangement? Well, would you want to be lumbered with a baby at 16? Probably not. Not having a baby didn't bother me at first, you know. I wasn't the maternal type. But then, when I decided to have one, for Gary's sake, and I found out that I couldn't, then it did matter. Still, now it's all fell into place. She knows it's dinner time. <laughs> Let the sons of Israel say, his love has no end. Let the sons of Aaron say, his love has no end. Let those who fear the Lord say, his love has no end. I called to the Lord in my distress. He answered and freed me. 
The Lord is at my side. I do not fear. What can man do against me? The Lord is at my side. Thanks for coming, Ashley. Your good friend thinks I'm mad, but I don't care. Better You've got to do what feels right. I would have appreciated it, mate. Hey, silly old beggar. Not much of a send off, is it? But the Lord For a lifetime. Yeah, Margaret's my managed to put in an appearance. He was my savior. Suppose there Eileen's sunning herself in Tenerife. It can't be. What? Is that Nick? Get over. Where? It is. It's Nick. Nick. <laughs> oh, Mum. <laughs> Am I too late? No, when did you... I mean, oh, I... shh, 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 come on, come on. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. It has pleased Almighty God to call our brother Dom from this life to himself. Accordingly, we commit his body to the earth whence it came. Since Christ... The first fruits of the dead has risen again and will refashion our frail body in the pattern of his glorious risen body. We commend our brother Dom to the Lord. How long has the business been in operation again? Mike, that's Mike Baldwin, my business partner, has been in manufacturing all his life. And I've designed all over the world. I like what I see. Although I do have my reservations about some of your more specialised items. Such as? Well, these for example. There's a fine line between sexy and tarty. Tarty's tacky. Some of my stuff is daring, I admit. But definitely not tarty. I admire the passion with which you defend your designs, Miss Freeman. My designs don't need defending. They stand up for themselves. May I offer you something to drink before we go through these again? Oh, yes, thanks. Cup of tea would be lovely. Oh, I was thinking about something a little stronger. When I get one of these, you can polish mine. Yeah, you wished. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lads. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, tell me. What does Mike Baldwin want with a sex symbol motor like this for at his age? Same as the rest of us, mate. Fancy yourself in this, do you? No way. It's a boring old man's car, innit? Yeah, well, that's put us in our place. Yeah, Chris, you've been to this Warsaw joint. Is it worth taking Samantha to? Oh, it used to be. I just heard they got this new uh, DJ. I'm not really a fan of him, though. I thought you said you were going there tonight. Did I? Well, I might have changed my mind. Is there a problem? Recognise it, then? Yeah. Not changed much, has it? No, it's just like... <laughs> yeah. Who is that? Yeah. Snicky Platt, innit? I didn't know he was back from Hi. Canada. All right. I still don't understand why you didn't ring us. We'd have picked you up. You know we would. Hey, he let the lad get his jacket off. Hello, bro. Yeah, cheers. Must be shattered. Um, no, it wasn't too bad. The, um, the flight was half empty, so I just stretched out across the whole road. Right. Um, it was just last minute. Stephen got us a cheap ticket, and I just... I didn't think it'd be right not to come, in spite of... you know. Well, Don would have appreciated it. He was very fond of you. Was he really sick? Oh, yeah. Yeah, cancer. It's, it's all very sad. We'll tell you about it later. Hey, the kids are going to be thrilled to see you. <laughs> Where are the little monsters? <laughs> well, they're at Audrey's and Alf. We thought it best to keep them out of the way. Let's have a look at them. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Oh, you filled out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at those shoulders. You know. um, is there anything to eat? Well, some things never change. Um, that's true. <laughs> Nick, um, this ticket, is it return? No, Mum. Um, one way. Uh, can I go grab my stuff and have a wash? Oh, your stuff! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Cheers. we'll get them. All right. See you. All right. Come in, 
I'm told certain unexplained phenomena have occurred. We don't need to drag Roy into this. Oh, he knows all about the para and what's it. <laughs> Not all, Toya. I, I take a, a, an objective interest in the subject. Thinks it could be a poltergeist. Oh, for crying out loud. I, I merely proffer it as one of several possible solutions. It's a known fact that poltergeist activity often centres on young girls, specifically teenagers. Oh, it's all down to our Toya. We'll have to start calling her Carrie. And if she starts setting the beds on fire, well, I'm not sleeping with her. Hey, shut up. It could just as easy be you. Nah, they go for the ugly one. Spook more people. Right, I'm off to make myself look gorgeous for tonight. See ya. Right, then. What's next, Roy boy? Uh. Well, do you mind? In a case I read about, psychic investigators sprinkled sand outside the front door of a house where similar manifestations had occurred. And not that it's practical in this case. And it makes a right mess as well. But if you were to install a sand-filled tray just inside your living room door... But what if we step in it? Well, you thought it was you then, wouldn't you? This case, uh, what happened? Oh, uh, a footprint was found. Too faint to be mortal in origin. And besides it was the imprint of a walking stick. A previous owner had been murdered in that house. An old man who walked with a stick. Hi. Hi. Oh, I was going to take you out for a meal tonight. Celebrators getting back... Uh... Well, perhaps celebrate isn't quite the right word. I wanted to show how happy and grateful I am. Yeah, another night, maybe. Not tonight. What's the matter? I went to see Ken. He thinks I'm mad, which I can live with. But he also refuses to collude in our lies, which I can't, because basically what that means is he's not going to keep his mouth shut. He's already told Emily. He'll probably put a card in the cabin window, then they'll all know. Uh, no more for me, thanks, Mr Dixon. Oh, George, please. George. Well, if I've answered all your questions... You know, the designs are very impressive. There's only so much you can get off a sketch. I can send you some more samples. But until you've actually seen them on a female body, you can't get a real idea of how they fit. Well, as you said yourself, most women wear sexy stuff. All women. Even businesswomen like yourself. So how about uh, modelling this for me, Angela? 